Hey everybody, how you doing? Have you ever wondered how to get the top off of an old barrel that was possibly used for jet fuel? Well, I'm going to show you today. This is Northwest Calverman and you are listening to my channel. So I wanted a burn barrel for a little while so that I could just, you know, burn random stuff uh, without, you know, taking it to uh, the dump, you know, and or disposing it over the fence like leaves and whatnot and just old wood. So a friend of mine gave me this old burn barrel or this old barrel from her company where they uh, used to have jet A fuel in it. So she got permission from the owner and gave me this barrel. Trouble was it still had the top on it. So I was a little bit leery about just cutting into it because of course it used to have jet A fuel in it and I didn't want to blow anything up because that would be bad. So what I did was I decided that, uh, well there's two ways to do this. You can buy a tool that costs actually more than buying a brand new barrel that doesn't have a top on it or you can grind off the top. The problem is, is you don't want the sparks to ignite any of the vapors. So what I did, and I'm not showing you this part on the video, is I rinsed out the barrel a couple of times with water and then I filled it up with water and I made sure I put the, uh, the two um, plugs in. So uh, it was on a bit of an angle, so I made sure that the the bigger hole was uh, on the up part of the angle of, and I filled it up. When water started coming out of the small hole, I plugged the small hole, and then I topped it up so that there was absolutely no fumes possible in the barrel. And then came the part of taking off the top. So. I just took my angle grinder and I ground along the uh, the top of the barrel where it the t the lid rolls over the side of the barrel and just took off that little round uh, kind of a hump and what you want to do is you want to grind it down until you start seeing a little line and that a line uh, you should see two lines and you want to make sure that the line on the inside of the the uh, the rim is visible. Once that's visible and it's all around, then you can start taking the the lid off. This took you know a few minutes, so I'm going to fast forward it so you don't have to just watch me grinding. And then you take a little hammer and you just pound the lid down a little bit so that you loosen it up. And what I did is after I pounded the, the lid down a bit, I just pushed the barrel over and the lid came right off and all the water came out. So now I have an empty barrel with no lid and I can do the next part which is uh, I have to ventilate it. So there's a lot of different ways I can ventilate. Uh, I'm going to take this out to the shooting range and shoot some holes in it uh, because that's kind of the fun way to ventilate and it's also quite easy. So I hope uh, you found this interesting if you are going uh, or wanting to make a burn barrel because uh, of course if you do get a barrel with uh, that has had some jet A fuel in it and jet A fuel by the way is essentially diesel fuel or, or kerosene and uh, of course the fumes are what's explosive and you don't want to to spark any any fumes especially if there's a lot of fumes in there so just to be careful fill it up with water so that there's no possibility of fumes in there and then grind the the rim off uh, just like I'm doing here and you're in business thanks for watching and we'll see you next time